Namaste everyone. I am Anusha, founder of Bharat Indi. Today we have a very special guest with us. Her name is Mrs. Nivedita Srinath. So here's a brief introduction about her. She is an art of living faculty, soft skills trainer, life coach, educator and founder of WOW Institute of Learning. After a rich experience of almost two decades of teaching and training and working with people, she got inclined passionately to solve their issues. She became a counselor and finally an ultimate solution to this became she became the art of living faculty. She has conducted several sessions on mental health and well-being, transforming lives of men. She has also conducted prison programs at jail, transformational cells, as we call it. She has been conducting live sessions of four days and transforming lives of people to lead a happy and stress-free life. Stress has been a very buzzword among all kinds of generations in the society today. So what is stress, how to deal with it, and how to deal with things related to stress, such as anxiety, depression, and so on. Let us hear it from our beloved counselor, Mrs. Nivedita Srinath Vasil. Namaste, ma'am. Welcome to the show. Namaste. We are very excited to have you with us. So uh, today you are dealing with a wonderful topic of stress management. I'm not sure how many people are going to get, you know, uh, benefited and change their lives. I'm really excited and uh, I look forward to observing it. So please tell us, ma'am, please tell us briefly about yourself and you can start with what is stress. First of all, thank you, Anusha, for uh, being uh, making me a part of your uh, Kalascharya interview sessions. <laughs> I'm giving an opportunity you. to speak. Yeah, you have told about me, you have told everything. So, uh, to talk about uh, the topic that is today, we talk about stress. Yeah, we've been hearing it everywhere these days stress. I am stressed. So, it's nothing but an upgraded version of tension, what earlier people called. Now, it is upgraded to stress. We, and we see it in every sphere of life. People talk about stress. Every gen, every age group is talking about stress. May it be school going children, may it be people uh, like you know working professionals, students, uh, the young, the youth. Uh, everybody talks about stress. Uh, but like you know what what exactly is stress? Hmm. See, when we talk about this, what exactly is stress? It is actually uh, maybe a physiological, psychological reaction to some situation. It is a reaction. The, the, uh, something has happened. They are reacting in a different manner. It can be. It can be so many things. So, what happens there is due to these external factors, what affect a person? He he comes under a situation where he feels a kind of pressure. He feels as if he's okay. in some kind of pressure. May it be professional, personal relationships, uh, any kind of academic pressure which students are taking these days. And they they are not understanding what to do. The, it is either overthinking or they aren't thinking. Okay. Yeah, the, and with which they are getting into two, as we call those uh, situations, like, you know, either uh, they go into the flight mode or the fight mode. Yeah. So they want to either run away from the situation, putting themselves into a kind of shell or they get into fight. That is, they get into aggression. So there are two situations happening. It is either the aggression or the depression. And that fear, anxiety, all these things are happening. But And, and they are, aren't understanding that. People are not, they are not understanding that they are undergoing this kind of situation. So this is what is actually stress. And they're, they're into that, like, you know, confronting mode of it. Okay. Yeah. So how do we know someone is stressed, ma'am? And what are the aspects? <laughs> see, when you see somebody who frequently gets angry, Okay. Or either uh, anxiety or kind of fear all the time. They are irritated, frustrated. Anxiety is there. Or see, with which, with which 
it again affects their uh, like you know the heartbeat or the blood pressure hmm? and uh, they they get into a kind of uh, they are as if lost overthinking yeah and and yeah. they see what happens is in this they they cannot get right thought at the right time okay right. they tend to take wrong decisions if they are in a kind of stress see certain amount of stress should be there yes at times a uh, certain amount is okay is okay like you know small small something yeah you have to do you have some time uh, bound activity that's okay but mm -hmm. when it becomes a, a, a phenomenal like you know in your life all the time you are into that pressure then it mm -hmm. can lead to some kind of ailments right right so as you rightly said anger and always someone who is uh, always feeling agita agitated maybe those are some aspects and symptoms any other symptoms ma'am which you would like to tell so that people can... see if if we have to um, bifurcate them physiological and psychological if you take okay. physiological there are certain stress hormones which get released if you are under stress and pressure all the time there are okay. certain stress uh, hormones which get released like you know cortisol then adrenaline and all that i i don't want to speak in uh, very much depth in that knowing that okay certain hormones are released which okay. can lead to the increase of heartbeat to the increase of okay. blood pressure and then obviously uh, it creates disturbance yeah so Correct. you 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 tend to fall ill this is the physiological part when it comes to psychological yeah see their thoughts and feelings are not in control they 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 cannot actually uh, it will straight away affect the feelings or thoughts they are either disturbed or they are very low and then mm -hmm. they have aches pains irritability yes. immediately you don't need a second to make them get angry they are frustrated so all these are again the psychological part what we see in a person who is stressed stressed okay right yeah. so yeah. Uh, are there any types of stress ma'am because uh, we have heard acute and chronic and those kind of things are there any yeah. types Yes. See now, talking about acute and chronic. Yes. See, acute, as I told you, certain certain stress, a uh, short term is okay. It shouldn't be taken as stress. It is like you know deadlines. You work on certain uh, given parameter. Okay. I have to finish my work in two days, three days. Yeah. Fine. That's okay. That you shouldn't take it as stress. But it is it is actually acute stress. What we call wherein, for exam, you you start studying fast. You want to finish it. Chronic mm -hmm. is a long-term stress where people are undergoing ongoing pressures and then it leads to so many health issues. What we are seeing often these days, uh, okay. you see, for example, the professionals are throughout the time they are in stress, with, yeah. which they are leading to so many diseases. So. Correct. That 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 is what is like you know, and it has a great impact on your health. It's yeah. straight away impacting your own health. Yeah, it's a negative yeah. impact actually. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, a negative impact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do we bifurcate? And uh, what is a healthy stress, ma'am? As you rightly said, like when you were telling, I I was uh, thinking of some points which probably uh, I'm giving the benefit of doubt for the stress itself wherein some healthy stress must be there. Can you tell uh, students or uh, to professionals or to young moms where that, you know, that optimal level of stress is it required? Hmm. Easy, easy, to... easy. <laughs> yeah, see, one thing I, do, <laughs> I told you, there is, um, see, stress is a, a reaction to the situation. Okay, correct. Yeah, so it is a reaction to the situation. There is nothing called a stress, actually okay. speaking. It is an invited uh, guest. Okay, how if I cannot handle the situation, it becomes a stress. Okay, okay. If I am not able to handle the situation, it becomes a stress. Given time, Correct. yeah. So, what exactly is stress? If 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 you want me to speak on that, 
uh like you know what exactly is plus see this is all theoretical what i'm telling you which is there and which is seen which is uh like you know maybe physiological psychological the types of stress all that yeah and and its impact is as i told you there is uh blood pressure increase and there is depression anxiety then there is uh heart uh, diseases and uh, so many things mental health issues which is becoming such a great um, like you know uh, worry these days if you look at mm. so uh, this is an impact okay, okay. but yeah. if to to tell you how to handle yes as i said there is uh, it is uh, uh, actually invited because it is an uh, it is a reaction for the situation so all whatever we talked about are all reactions isn't it yes getting angry yes. getting feared it's all act actions yeah correct so uh, would you like me to tell uh, some more points about stress ma'am like uh, uh, for diff different age groups what kind of stress is uh, these days it comes so that you know at least people are aware uh, okay okay i'm yeah see actual um... you know, ways how people get stressed or something like that because uh, i'm very excited mm. in fact uh, to know uh, more about this because we are uh, having this your uh, talk series with us yeah so uh, yeah see uh, as you said to know more about stress see this is all what we talked about but actually to tell you there's nothing called as stress okay <laughs> it is simple stress is nothing but more work less time okay and my energy how much of energy i'm having to handle it correct yes it is very simple more of work less time and my energy to it what happens there is see can i um, like you know uh, increase the time can no. i tell the sun please extend your time your duty cannot do that isn't it ah uh, yes and everyone on earth is given 24 hours yeah yes then you see the work given to us can we reduce it no today i will not uh, pack my box uh, pack box for my child it's okay no i cannot so every every work has its own uh, priority okay and so yeah. that work also i cannot reduce it is there okay. that much i have to do all right yes ma'am yeah but what i can do what is in my hands is increase the energy level my energy level if i increase it is okay. but obvious that i can handle the situation better only that okay. is what i can do see okay. it is it is ha uh, huh, it is very simple and what happens when my energy levels are low when i think oh i cannot do it that is where even self doubt starts any job it is any okay. work i take and then i get into like you know anxiety fear and will i be able to do it no i am unable to do it we have seen so many cases i uh, there are cases which come to me with postpartum depression the child is born and they aren't able to handle the situation okay there are students now see best example to give you is students uh, where exams have come okay the date sheet is announced mm -hmm. what happens there are some students who go search books dust the books open the books and search for lessons <laughs> okay yeah yeah the, now what happens the moment the date sheet is announced the students will think oh only these many days left so time is less when you open the chapters oh my so much to study <laughs> lots to study and obviously then what happens is they will start not they will not bother about eating sleeping nothing energy goes down and here they start self doubting oh my can will i be able to do it are come on it is you who has chosen the stream it is with your choice you have taken the stream whatever you are studying but then there starts the self doubt will i be able to do it and there many students get into the and they did not Mm. so mm. the distance is created 
so stress now you tell me where did the stress come from it comes from us only i think <laughs> it is invited exactly uninvited guest uninvited and guest <laughs> yeah probably because either we postpone uh, day to day activities and we uh, you know assimilate everything at the end of the day oh my god so much of work is left we think that way and i thank you so much ma'am for, for uh, telling us briefly about all these things so you told us today what is stress what are the aspects of stress how to know if someone is under stress what are the symptoms physical and physiological and what kind of health impact uh, health issues it uh, you know uh, it impacts us on so uh, since this is a series then I, i'm uh, uh, looking forward to listening to more of your uh, you know uh, methods which you will explain to us in the upcoming sessions on how to handle stress what are the methodologies as you said three things which come under our day to day life the energy the work amount of work and the amount of time so uh, to summarize everything the time and work is always the same it never goes up or it never goes down it's always the fix, fix, fixative as per our uh, you know as per our age or whatever and time is uh, needless to say it is not a friend to anyone it always <laughs> is a friend to itself with uh, the same 24 hours and finally the energy is what we have in our hands and, and uh, since you are art of living faculty and uh, counselor and you have been doing stress management sessions so today we are very happy to start the series with you ma'am especially especially with you so in the next uh, uh, sunday same time we can uh, meet you again to uh, learn more about how to handle the stress yes thank you very much for joining us today yes see we have started what stress is yeah but very important okay. is how to handle it what is stress as it is we know yes yeah see in schools and uh, mm. elders everyone has told us oh see don't get angry anger is not good for you okay don't do this being quiet being sad or is not good for you don't do it are you don't get angry yes anger is bad yes but how how not to get angry we do not know so on this we will talk exactly. in the next session as to how we can okay. handle the stress all right great yeah yes. so thank you yeah thank you so much yeah. ma'am so viewers uh, if you want to touch base with nivedita madam she is available in uh, facebook as nivedita shrinath and uh, Uh, she also has her facebook page uh, wo wow wow institute of learning and in the next class i'll be sharing her uh, email id and uh, you know the contact number as well so thank you very much for joining ma'am thank you so much meet yes, you next sunday ma'am thank you see you thank you thank you viewers bye bye, bye.